Hello you guys, welcome back to Channel Claire. I hope that you're having a wonderful Friday wherever you are in this crazy, crazy world. Now this is just going to be a quick little video because I've seen this snippet go around um, down my timeline of Rich Paul. He is a sports agent and he has also been connected to Adele. Yes, the Adele. Um, you've probably seen them out at basketball games and other events looking great as a couple. Um, she's also recently referenced him as husband. Um, I believe she's even said wife. So the rumors were out there that potentially they were engaged and or maybe married. But we definitely knew that they were something because they've been out and about together. So then Rich Paul does this interview with CBS and... The interviewers were not at all taking it easy on Rich Paul. Like, not at all. They were trying to get all the nitty gritty. All of it. And they wanted him to essentially let us know what is going on with him and Adele. Uh, they, they wanted the tea. And he simply was not giving of that. Now, I feel like people are reacting to this in many different ways. Some people say, you know, he's a private guy. He wants to keep his love life and relationships very quiet and to himself. Like, that's not for a fodder of all of us to have something to say about it, even though they've been seen out and about in public. But others are saying that this is kind of shady and disrespectful towards Adele because while she's clearly out, you know, claiming him, saying husband, having those references of ownership, in this clip, it really doesn't show that he's confirming much of anything when it comes to their relationship. If anything, it seems like he's confirming that they have a very good friendship, and he says that they're good for each other and that they're helping each other, um... But that's really it. There was no romantic notions, you know, that you would kind of hear if you're in like a marriage. And I don't know, it made me feel a type of way like if that was my man, I would feel a little bit, I don't know, I'd feel a little bit like you're playing in my face. Um, granted, we don't know what the conversation they've had behind closed doors. Maybe she's agreed, you know, we're keeping our relationship private. I completely understand that you don't want to, you know, talk about it. So maybe for all we know, Adele is fucking cool with it. But I guess the bit at the end, well, the fact that the interviewer gave him like two chances and he kind of like averted it completely, like did not stake any claim and then at the end, um, Gail was asking, well, if I see Adele, can I call her Mrs. Paul? And he goes, well, you can call her whatever you want. And I was just like, oh, my God. Like, it just it just did not come off well. Like, I couldn't understand. Like, maybe he's not used to talking in the public because this is one of the first interviews I've seen him do personally. So he's not used to it. He did look a little uncomfortable in his body language. And like he said, he, you know, wants to keep his relationship personal. But I just think the contrast of how Adele is showing, you know, their relationship versus him is just so different. And then I did see a comment on Twitter saying that, you know, his response is kind of leaving it open for other people to come in, slide in his DMs, because he didn't confirm anything. So it leaves their relationship status in the public up for question. Now, of course, in between the two of them, they could be solid as a fucking rock. And Adele could give a fuck about none of this. But some people are thinking and have said, you know, Adele, stand up, get up out of there. You don't deserve that, like, telling her to fucking leave. Let me say this, we are, um, she's been great. I think she would agree that we've definitely helped each other. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm in a good space. You know, we're in a good space, happy. She's just, Rich. she's superb. Rich, she says wife and husband, and you say she's been great. I just want to give you one more chance here. No, as a husband I'll myself, say, yes. you I might want to say, say she's been, 
She's been great for me. Yeah, yeah. we've yes. been great for You've each You've been other. great for each other, yes. though. That's yeah. what I said. We've yes. been great for each other. You don't, don't use those terms. And again, though. I understand how... I'm starting to understand how people go, oh, he said this, he said that. Right. I'm just not the type of person to put my personal life... It's not for the media. It's okay. not for All right. the paparazzi. It's for y'all. It's for us. So, so, so when I see her, now. when I see her, should I say, hi, Mrs. Paul? You can say whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I hear, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, There's yeah. a lot it's going on that you're not. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. I don't know if I think she should leave, but I definitely feel like they may not be on the same page. Possibly, potentially. But what do I know? Um, I just hope that whatever is going on, Adele is happy and okay with it because she did go through kind of a rough divorce. Not kind of. I believe she had to pay out. I believe she had to pay out to that man um, and then to be in something that seemingly on the outside looks beautiful and of course it still can be but his response was just a tad bit odd and gave people and gives people a lot to kind of talk about um, versus if he was just like that's my woman. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm interested in what you guys think. Also, since we're on this topic of relationships and men and that dynamic and how it kind of feels like at times women can like put so much into a relationship and put so much love and we fall so deep where the man in the relationship is more aloof and more nonchalant and, you know, it's just different, I feel like, in today's day and age of dating and everything like that. Um, and unfortunately, Meg the Stallion, you know, she's had a rough go of it. Although she has had much success in her career and music, top charts and all of that, her personal life has been really, really rough. Um, loss of loved ones, near loved ones, I believe like her grandmother and her mother, you know, people that are always going to have your back and be your biggest cheerleaders. And when you have that, it's so hard to kind of, when you don't have that, it's hard to function. Like, I, like, I don't even want to think about it. And then the fact that she was in this situation where she got shot in the foot by that man. And people to this day, even going through a trial and everything, do not believe that he shot her in the foot. And it's been very apparent with her peers and colleagues, other men who are in the industry, disrespecting her and basically not believing her story and taking his side um it's just and it's it's so disrespectful and some of the things that they've said in lyrics drake um just downplaying dismissing the whole experience it's just it's been really really crazy to watch and um it's clear in this song in this new release cobra that she's had a rough go of it and I think that this song was so real so raw just she was so vulnerable and I just think it was impeccable the visuals man come on and the choreography oh my god I absolutely fucking loved it tens across the board um the whole story I just, I really enjoyed it. I haven't sat and watched a music video and enjoyed it in a long, long time. And I definitely have downloaded her song into my library. But she really talks about the struggle she's gone through and having different ideations going through all of this. You know, in the background, she's having ideations, you know, not wanting to be here. Um, feeling like people, you know, as long as you're getting paid, you're good. You know, everything's okay as long as you're paid, but what about me? Nobody cares. All you want is my money, essentially, you know? And being at her stature and her wealth and her success, it is a struggle to know who's with you because they actually love you and really, really support you and are down for you and who's just there for you to use you and take all your money and just mooch off of you. Um, it's hard to decipher. 
And then she goes into talking about her relationship, her former relationship with Party, I think his name is. And how she walks in one day and he's getting so a, a service done to him in the bed she sleeps in. The disrespect. It's just the audacity. The audacity. Like, I wonder really what goes through people's head when they do shit like that. Do they, like, just black out? Do they, so, like, they don't know what the fuck they're actually doing. Um, so, all these traumatic things happening to her. And on top of that, she walks into that traumatic mess. Because that is traumatic to watch someone you love get a service in the bed that you go to sleep in. It's traumatic as hell. Like, who, like, I would feel like you can't trust anybody. Or, like, it would be a very, very, very long time to let anybody in after that. Um, so, I don't know. Well, I think the song was great. I, it, she was so real. And, um, I think she shared a lot. I just feel bad for her. I feel really bad. I hope that she's in a better place now. And, you know, this, putting the song out and music is therapy that it's helped her release and heal but my goodness it's like she couldn't really catch a break so i really enjoyed the song check it out if you're into that stuff and i will catch you guys in another video